In this video, we're going to talk about the NLP status on an ATV 630 drive. Now, NLP means no line power. Um, that can happen for a number of reasons on the drive. Uh, the most obvious one being, of course, is that your line power is not what it should be. It's not getting its full potential, um, or you have a loss of phase in general without a run command that could happen. Or, in some rare cases, even though you may have full voltage available in the drive coming in, the drive may still think there's a no line power situation because everything on this drive is calculated based upon the DC bus voltage in terms of the NLP status. So, every, so the voltage is actually calculated based upon your DC bus power. So if there's a problem with the DC bus, not charging fully or if the control board is not or the power board or control board not reading something right then that can result in this kind of status unfortunately and um, may require further inspection or repair. Um, having said that there's a few things that we can do at least in, the, in terms of the soft drive and how we can check to see what the DC bus voltage is and see confirm what the line power looks like so having said that, um, let's just go ahead and dive in here. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do here from your main display is to go into the display menu, number four, and then you can go down to your drive parameters, drive parameters. And then in here, there's a number of things you can take a look at, but the ones that we're really more in, uh, more in board about is your, your mains voltage, okay? mains voltage, that's very important. This is the value the drive thinks is your line power coming in because it's based off the DC bus charge. So if it shows very low or very high, sometimes that happens too, uh, regardless if it doesn't make sense to what your line power is actually coming in, then that can also result in a fault code where we can confirm it with this particular uh, status here. Um, so that's one thing that you can do uh, from the keypad perspective to see uh, what your line voltage is or what your DC bus voltage is. Now mine says UL and UN whatever but that just means that the drives cannot detect the actual DC bus right now because I did some things to make this NLP status come about but that doesn't matter for us for our purposes here. So that's the first thing that you can do. The second or the most obvious thing that we can do of course is to check your actual line power. Now I have disconnected this connection here. I'm gonna go and power this off for safety. But um, I have physically removed the L1 off my line power to, to give us this particular status. Oh, I forgot to mention actually, NLP is not a fault code, it's a status, okay? So you have enough power to power up the electronics and everything, but there's not enough power to actually be ready to run. That's what says NLP, not ready. But some of the things you can try to do is to you know, check, make sure your line power connections are good. L1, L2, and L3. Um, now your DC bus connections, I know it's kind of hard to see, but they are right next to your um, your line and your motor connections, okay? So they're, they're labeled as PA plus and then PC minus. Those are your plus and minus of your DC bus. So you can technically get a meter that's rated for category three minimum up to a thousand volts and you can measure between PA to PC measuring DC power and it should give you uh, some kind of DC measurement. Now, depending on your power coming in, like for example for a 460 volt rated drive, you should be expecting around at least minimum 640 volt DC or so. And the reason why I came up with that number is because the conversion factor is 1.41. So whatever your line power is, you multiply it by 1.41 and that's the value that you expect in your DC bus. Um, so in some rare cases, I know this is something we're talking about NLP status, but if you're getting spikes and if you're getting over braking or over voltage faults, then that could be the reason why if you're reading very high values, even though you're bringing let's say 460, but your drive things are bringing like 500 plus, that's when you want to measure your DC bus to see what's going on. So anyway, that's what I would do. I would check your line connections here and obviously I physically disconnected your line power to give us this particular status and let's go ahead and hook it back up here real quick
Now I said before that it could be a, you know sometimes if everything is checking out your DC bus is good and your line power is good and everything is fine but your drive thinks there's a line power issue that could be a drive issue at this point I would give us a call based upon that and um, alright so now that I've poked everything back up let's go back to the keypad now alright and yeah so we have a ready status now RDY instead of NLP so that's basically all we can really do for this kind of issues for NLP now again I'm, I'm showing you guys a example of a small drive not a large one it's a small frame size on some larger ones like let's say 100 horsepower and above it gets a little tricky when it comes to the PA and the PO connections and sometimes PO connections um, but just keep in mind that it does change unfortunately from drive to drive based upon the horsepower size for the lower horsepower ones I would say anything less than 100 horsepower you should be okay with this kind of FAQ but later on it does get a little more complicated in terms of what you can do and the things that could be going on to cause an NLP um, so yeah that's basically what an NLP is and how to troubleshoot that particular status on the ATV 630 drive